How to adjust the Honda Trax 300 valves. You need to have it top dead center in this viewport right here. See those two marks? With those two marks top dead center and with both both valves able to shake a little bit, a little bit loose. This one's tighter. Allen wrench goes right in here in this port on the right. You can rotate the crankshaft. Now there's a couple little caps that were in here that I took off already. And then there were these covers. Keep them oriented so you don't change the position on the um, seals. There's the exhaust. There's the intake. I had to remove the cover, gas tank in the cover in order to get to it. This brace right here to get this, this uh, breather out of there. In any case, this right here is what I have right now, top dead center. It's very loose. The front one was fine. What you need is a feeler gauge of approximately .15 or .006 if it's uh, inches. Right now what I'm going to do is adjust this so that this is just slipping through there somewhat snug but not uh, not not loose like this or tight. I could tell when I took this thing off nobody had adjusted this this one but they adjusted the front one at one time. So you loosen this nut right here and then you can adjust it right here and then check it again. Maybe rotate it around one more time and then check it again. But that's about it. Once I get that adjusted I'm not going to have all the tapping that I had before. This being the crankcase, I might put a little bit of sealer on it right there. Uh, these are some of the tools you need. I had to use the screwdriver to move the one cap and, and the crescent wrench because I couldn't turn it, so I pushed in and just snapped it and got it loose. 10 millimeter for the covers, 10 millimeter extension to get to the top where the carburetor is, and of course to remove the uh, frame parts, uh, 12 millimeter Phillips to take off all the breathers, and the intake had to be taken loose there. So that's about it. I'll go ahead and Go ahead and get to work on it and just that one and see how it goes. Take care. Have a good day. In order to get to these two valve covers, the intake and exhaust, we're going to have to remove the gas tank, which I already have done. Take apart the air breather. Take these two uh, bolts out here. These four bolts for the brace, this plug. And you're going to need to take out that Phillips for the snorkel attachment to the uh, air breather. And then you're going to have to take apart the snorkel from right here at the top of this Phillips. Then you can pretty much get to take that snorkel out, you can get right to the top here. intake valve covers